In this tutorial we are going to take a look at how to use some of the tools like copy, move and rotate. And in this case I have just made a small line and if I want to make a copy of the line I need to go to this icon up here. And if I then left click and hold down the mouse button I will get a list of different options and in this case I will make a copy. And we can see from the bottom left corner that I need to identify the element. So I will just select it and then I can move it in the direction where I want to make the copy. And we can see from the bottom that I'm able to type in a distance and an angle. And some of you may have an X and a Y, but if you then use the space key, it will change between X and Y to, an, to a distance and an angle. But let's say in this case I want to move it with a distance of 2 meters and also an angle of 45 degrees. Then I will use the tab key to jump to the angle and then type in the angle of 45 degrees. And then I just need to click on the screen at, and I will have a copy of the line. So I'll just right click to get out of the command and just click on modify to start the next command. And let's say in this case I want to move this line. So again I will go up to this element right here, select move and again I need to specify the element and then I can drag it in the direction where I want to move it. Another tool that might be useful is to um, is to rotate and again it's located in this part right here so I'll just left click and then select rotate and we can see next to method that we have some different types so we can type in an angle let's say in this case I want to rotate the element with 45 degrees then I need to specify the element if I want to rotate it around the center point I'll just click here and then I'm able to rotate it 45 degrees and just click on the screen again to place the element. Another method is the two point and if I just select it I will specify the element and if I want to rotate it around the end point I'll just click once and now I'm able to rotate around the end point and I will just click on the screen to place the line And the last method is um, the three point. So in this case I will select the element, specify the first point, the second point, and now I'm able to rotate the line and just place it on the screen.